the lady from Uncle. The lady. Hello, today I'm going to take a look at the Google Account Help Center and the user community for Google Accounts. Now, if you have a problem with your Google account, you will probably have done a Google search and you might have come across the Help Center. And if we take a look at the Help Center, you will see that there are a lot of subjects covered and the most popular ones are at the top. And the ones that are probably of most interest to you is account recovery. So if we actually expand that, you can see that one of the first topics is how to recover your Google account or Gmail. So let's actually try that. Let's click on that link. And that takes us to an article all about recovery for a Google account. If, for example, you have lost your password or you've forgotten the email address that you normally use to sign in with, or you think that your Google account has been hacked or for any other reason. Now, if none of this helps you and you've tried and better tried, then the next thing you can do is to post in the help community. Now, posting in the help community is not going to get you in touch with Google account support. There are no support teams on the user community. It is peopled by users like yourself and I. So let's click on that link. And here we are at the Google account help community. And again, we have featured posts, all different topics that might help us. And if that is not what we're looking for after we've gone through all of these, we can actually post our own question. So if you have read through these particular articles and you have still not found any help or it doesn't make sense to you, or you have a very specific question that you don't feel is being covered, then click on post a question and complete this form. Now, this form will post your question on the user community and other users will get a chance to answer it. What I would ask you to be very clear on, it says here, do not include private and confidential information such as credit card numbers. It should really read, do not include private or confidential information such as email addresses and passwords. And do not post screenshots of your personal ID or your email addresses. Basically, if you do, then anybody with internet access will be able to see this information. If I can see your email address after you've posted a screenshot of it, so can anybody else who has the internet. Hopefully this helps you and thank you for listening. Goodbye.